Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Um, this tutorial will show you how to make these cute pouches. And I'm going to start with the macaroon one first because it's a little bit harder than the cloud. So first cut two large circles in felt and four smaller circles, two in cardboard and two in felt. With one large circle, tack around the edge and when you get to the end, pull the string to draw the material together. Now take pillar stuffing, or in my case, cotton balls, and begin to fill the circle. Once it's full, place a small cardboard circle on top and pull the string. If at this stage the large circle doesn't close in everything, you'll need to cut the cardboard smaller. Tie a knot and repeat these steps for the second part of the macaroon before attaching the zip. If your zip is long, place it right sides together and measure it to the same size or slightly bigger than the cardboard circle. Then you can sew the zip together and cut off the excess. Turn the zip right side out and tack around the zip like we did for the large circle. Once you get to the end, pull the string until it's the right size and sew it to the section we just made. Unfortunately, I didn't get to film me doing this, but I'm going to show you how I did it in the next step. So I'm just going to tack the zip as I did before and I'm going to pull the string. Now when sewing the side to the zip, make sure you don't sew too close to the zipper teeth, otherwise the zip won't glide smoothly. If you want to make this into a keyring, take a small strip of felt, fold it in half and sew, leaving a small gap at the top. Now you can attach it to the macaroon. To finish the inside, take a bit of the stuffing or cotton and fill the middle before sewing the smaller felt circle. Again, when sewing this, don't sew too close to the zipper teeth. And the macaroon pouch is done. Initially I wanted this for my earphones but I made it too small so I can just use it for my stud earrings or rings. The cloud pouch is so much easier as you can do this with a glue gun if you don't want to sew. So cut out three of your pattern pieces and place them on top of each other. So one quarter of the way around and then tie a knot. Continue to sew the second quarter but only through the top two layers. Once you've reached the end of the second quarter, tie a knot and sew the third quarter with all the pieces together. 
Before you sew the last quarter, put stuffing in between the top and middle layer only. After that, sew everything together. Now we can draw on your design. Here are the finished pouches. They are so cute and you can play around with different colours and designs. If you like this DIY, subscribe to my channel and don't forget to click on the bell button for notification of when my next video will be posted.